So it is maintenance day on the Zach lift. We finally got a bit of a break in the jobs because I stopped answering the phone for a bit. I'm doing some reorganizing some gear because when you get busy, what happens is, and I, I'm more guilty of this than anyone, Ethan's actually pretty good about it. He's down there. Uh, but I'm really bad about, there's an open box. That's where I'm gonna put that. I'll deal with it later. And then I don't. So I'm doing that now, kind of going through reorganizing everything, putting it back where it's all like supposed to be, instead of being mixed up and everything. Ethan's down there greasing the truck. Casey said if I do a good job, I can get a new seat in the Western Star. Oh yeah. Ethan would really like a new seat. I'd like a new seat on my side too, because that one also is no good. But this seat here has no recline, no adjustment, no suspension. So we'll we'll see if we'll see how you do. That's good. So one thing with this super long truck is it has about a mile of drive line and carrier bearing and U-joints to get all the way back there. <laughs> so he's been greasing U-joints for. Yeah, I've greased that U-joint, that one, that one, all of the uh, all the on-spot chains, which have serviceable grease ports, which is awesome. Love to see it. Um, and then there's also um, all the brake fittings and all of that jazz. So I've been I've been under here for like. I don't know, 20 minutes, half an hour. Half an hour at least. Yeah, it's uh, not ideal, but we'll make it happen. Got to keep this thing moving and moving smooth. I'll have a shop one day. Concrete Sunday. floor, so it'll be so nice. <laughs> I'll take it. That's good. One day. Okay. One day. Uh, the grease gun just came thrown out the side of the truck, so either Ethan is either mad and done or done and done. No, I'm going to turn into an on-spot change here in a second. Start spinning around and reach the tires. So also put new mud flaps on the back of the truck. Uh, to replace ones that got ripped off uh, by tire chains because I actually put some full tire chains on here and by the time you guys have seen this video you will have seen like weeks worth of this truck running around no mud flaps on the back I know there'll be comments about like didn't you even fix that two days I think so all of that was filmed in two days yeah I think so and so the truck was without mud flaps on the back for two whole days yeah uh, then I went up to utility trailer once they opened up after the weekend new mud flaps are on it so don't get all mad at me and turning me into dot and crap like that because straight, we do straight, straight to jail we do actually maintain some stuff once in a while uh checked all fluids all that stuff i got the new bumper i want to put on but we figured we should do maintenance before we start on new projects that bumper's sitting right there it's going to be really nice this bumper is going to look so good on that truck especially once i get it all dirtied up to match the rest of the truck but it's a whole lot of really big bolts, a whole lot of really big brackets, and the whole front end of that truck has to come apart to get it on, so maintenance first. You doing okay over there? Oh, I'm giving birth to a snatch block. No more squeaky snatch blocks. Those are the small ones, too. I know. Have you seen the big ones? Uh, I don't want to. Come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Pick those ones up. I don't want to. <laughs> oh, man. That is... That is hefty. That's why they stay here. Yeah. Unless I've got some super hard pull job where I know I'm going to be doubling up a whole bunch of line and you're going to need like all the pulling force, you know, with massive winches, those stay at home. So speaking of tire chains, you guys have seen me with the outside V-bar chains on a lot uh, with this truck. And I had said with this truck that after I put the on-spot chains on, I never had to chain up the outside again. And I realized the difference of why I was having to do it so much on this one or why I was doing it so much on this one is with this truck, I lift the back end up in the air a whole lot on those spades to do lifting jobs or winch out jobs, all that where you really dig down. That truck over there, you don't do that because it doesn't have spades. And when you lift the truck up in the air, the auto chains that are under there droop out from under the tires. And if you're on a big hill, icy hill, you set the truck back down. Now you don't have chains under your tires on the hill and you slide down the hill. So I have been putting the outer V-bar ice chains on quite often this winter, usually just on one axle. And that's purely to have something to hold me in place on a hill when I set the truck back down. As far as driving up and down the road, the auto chains are all I use for that, except for one freaking day I put my outer V-bar chains on both axles so that uh, to do a big winch out on a hill that didn't end up happening and we ended up bailing out on it, it was too dangerous. And I was like two hours from home, blizzard snowstorm the whole way, and I'm like, screw it, I'm just going to drive home with them on, it'll be fine. It wasn't fine. It was not at all fine. So, so not fine. Um, both 
that tire and that tire broke chain links. I was in snow the whole way. Never touched actual pavement with the chains, but still broke a chain link on each one. And uh, got the fender really good there and really good there before I could get stopped and pull them off and then just switch back to running the auto chains. Which that is an advantage of the auto chains is they're never gonna break a link and wipe out your fenders or tear your mud flaps off, which is why I ended up missing these two mud flaps. So that makes me sad, but it's fixable. Now we got everything on the truck greased. We just did the pivot head here. Uh, Zachlift is the only ones out there who actually use a bearing in their pivot head. So inside of this is actually a top and bottom roller bearing. Every other manufacturer out there from big trucks to little trucks like those just use a bronze bushing that you have to grease and it slides on until it wears out. Zachlift actually uses a bearing in there plus a Teflon pad top and bottom. So these ones actually last really, really long and are super strong on the pivot head. But then we've got grease points uh, all the way through here where the slide pads go in and out more for the slide pads up here your main pivot here the heel of the boom back up in there when this is folded down we got all that done uh, Ethan's up top right now doing the boom slide pads which are on each side there there's your main boom pivot back here plus up in there the uh, extension cylinder and up top there we've got the main lift ram pivots the only ones we're not going to grease right now are going to be the lower lift ram pivots because they are way up on the other side of the fifth wheel right there and we can't really get to them with the zack lift on the truck but those don't actually do that much moving as this goes up and down they like they barely move back and forth and only when the boom's going up and down a whole lot so they don't need greased as often as like that wheel lift does or the pivot cylinder for that or the sheave head for the boom which ethan's doing right now it doesn't look like they've ever been greased casey Shh. Redacted. So those lower pivot points are the only ones you can't grease with the unit on the truck, but it's not that big a deal because they don't move that much compared to everything else on here. So when this gets pulled off, hit them with a little bit of grease real quick and uh, then they'd be fine. So I noticed while I'm up here is you've got your, your tie back point here, right? Yep. And you've got your grease fitting. Yep. Center punches it so it doesn't knock the grease fitting off. Really? Yep. Really. That. Yeah, check it out. So you got this. And then, you know, that's the that's, little, that's that's the little stuff that actually matters in the day-to-day -day life. Yeah, that's some engineering thought right there. I would never have thought to mount that where it wouldn't hit. Good job, Zach Lift. Now that that slide pad back there is greased, I'm going to run this out all the way, and we're going to put some of the spray grease down here on the bottom side of the boom where it rubs on that slide pad. Just use a little bit of spray grease here and then pull it back in and it greases that whole thing. We're gonna do the same thing with that wheel lift right there. Okay, so now I've pulled the boom back in. Ethan just greased the slide pads on the bottom. Yep. Then we run the boom back out and it greases the whole bottom side of the boom as it rubs back across what we just threw grease on there. The okay, greasing maintenance is done. Uh, these air spools I put on here, these reels, had some people say all oh, the vibration is going to destroy them and they're going to leak and so far not one bit of leak out of those things so very happy with that the other thing that vibration has not destroyed yet is this toolbox this has been doing very good and still completely solid the other one that i put in there by this amount of time of being in there was already starting to get loose and wobbly this doesn't have any of it so yeah this is this is still nice and yeah very happy with that Okay, hey, next up, lunch. Sounds good. So lunch was had, it was good, and now the day is about to get really expensive because this, uh, this is all a mess because we just moved it all out of the way. Uh, this is my well. It goes down 800 feet into the ground, uh, which is that way. And there's a pump at the very end of it, way down there in the earth, and it died. So. We haven't had water for a good week or so now out of the well. Luckily we got a cistern over here that uh, stayed caught up with our house and everything. So the well guys are coming tomorrow to pull all 800 feet out of the ground, put a new pump and check valve on the end of it and send it back down there. The only problem is this pump house is in the way, which is why we have the Zach lift here. So maintenance day on the truck just turned to maintenance day on the property. So we gotta move this. And Grumpy has to move this pile of snow. 
This grumpy was nice enough to come over this tractor and plow my whole yard with all the snow, but he put it right where the well truck needs to back up to, uh, to do, you know, under the ground things. So, I'm gonna try to figure out how to rig up a pump house. Yeah, this will be a fun one. It's always something with you, Casey. Yeah, I, I just love how it's always something. So always it's something. so fun. The problem is, I don't think my boom has enough extension because the snow pile's in the way. Yeah. So we're gonna use the underreach instead because it'll reach out farther. All right. Oh, I'd have been so mad if I'd have ripped off my brand new mud flap. <laughs> <laughs> ah, snow on my shoes. I don't get it, Casey. How come you don't wear boots like the rest of us? Because I'm trying to be like Art Davis. Take the shoes for life, no matter how snowy cold it is. That's fair. Okay. I wasn't sure how you were going to sling this up. You get it yet? I know, I got it. I'm following. Maybe someday. And then I'll use them for everything else too, but yes. those will be my chains for doing this. Perfect. We're right, yep, right there. the boom through here and just lift it. That would have been really funny. I think you could do it though. Two. Okay, Watch, as soon as we lift this up, the wind's gonna start blowing all oh, the yeah, yeah. gone. Okay. So. Yeah. I shouldn't have sold my skin steer. Yeah. Just because of forks to pick it up and leave. I, I, had, I had like things to buy though. Like It's a little bit better than a skid steer. Oh. Doesn't do as good wheelies though. I say, well, let's see, why not? I think front to back would be better because there's less overhang. This. What's this we business you're talking about? Well, if I say we, then if something goes horribly wrong, it's both of our faults. Oh, okay. Not just mine. Gotcha. So I say we a lot. Okay. You'll learn. Maybe someday. Oh, this is an OSHA violation waiting to happen. We are going to get most of my load. <laughs> Again, the wee stuff. The most important part is the wee. 100% not how this is supposed to go, but... That's fine. I told you, but now you got snow in your shoes. <laughs> what happened? I lost a shoe. <laughs> <laughs> one shoe. Oh, you kept your other one on. Good. All right, what are your thoughts, Casey? We're going to make a choker. Okay. So this needs to come here to this. So what's gonna be really bad? What's that? Is when uh, I lifted that crane and moved it. I did like a 
went great. I, I did a decent job with the rigging because like it was a crane and that really matters. You know, because I'm gonna hack the shit out of this job. <laughs> At least you can admit it. This one doesn't matter as much. Because if I drop this, I just get a new pump house that we kind of needed anyway. Here. But I didn't want to buy someone a crane. Right. Cranes are expensive. I mean, plywood was expensive too, but. This one goes through this. Can you hand me that shackle? Thank you. So this one is choking up through this one to tighten it, and this one is choking up through the back side of this one to tighten it. Very good. So when I lift, they should cinch on each other and just lift the shed. How cool would it be if that actually worked? We're gonna find out here in a second. I'm hoping it works. Cause I ain't got no better idea. Okay. Necessity is the mother of all invention, is it not? Um. There's other things. Yes. Like incompetence and laziness and um, general jackassery. I like all of those things. Well, mostly the general jackassery. Actually, who am, I, who am I kidding? I don't like incompetence. I'm good on this side. It'll probably end up folding out, but... That's okay. I think we'll survive. It is flying. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna move it. Alright, have fun. Oh man. This thing is like a Swiss Army knife. It's so good. Here comes Grumpy! You missed the fun! Is he ridiculous or what? What? I missed the fun? I mean, the fun might have just begun. Oh! Why? What happened now? Well, we're, we're using a heavy wrecker to pick up the... pick up a watershed. Yeah, it's, working. it's working. It's working. Casey's crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so good. How many points do we get? I'm gonna ask Grumpy. Okay. He's scorekeeper. I'm impressed with how well that worked. I knew it was gonna be that long the whole time. Come on. <laughs> I never got it in a bit. Had the whole plan worked out ahead of time. 
Yeah. yeah. We'll go with that. <laughs> yeah. I bet I could even fix the roof. We should sure. probably like, come up with another plan for putting it back. Yeah, probably. Because that's going to be harder to set in place over the top of that new expensive well. Okay. Yeah. But hey. And at that, worked quite well. Oh. Uh oh. But you know what? Fixed. <laughs> it's the sacrifices you have to make sometimes. Oh man. If I were you, I'd be custom like, custom like there's no tomorrow. I never cussed. Never. I said a bad word on, on Casey's channel one time. Never ever do I ever cuss. Not even once. Cussing is bullshit. Oh man. Oh no, a square knot. Whatever will I do but uh -oh. just take it apart. It's almost like they come apart. Casey, I, 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 feel I can't like, believe that worked. I feel like you're, you're, you're full of it, man. You couldn't possibly, couldn't possibly, you must have superhuman strength. No, just super Florida strength. <laughs> I didn't say that. <laughs> this is a bad idea. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, you've heard of uh, Elf on a Shelf, right? Oh. Liddell on a well. <laughs> <laughs> You're an idiot. You hired me. That's why I hired you. <laughs> Grumpy's got the tractor coming out. Come scoop, do some scoop work. Love to see it. I wish I had neighbors like Grumpy. He's the best neighbor ever. He really Everybody is. Everybody asks how I know Grumpy. Is he my dad? Is he my grandpa? That, um, my neighbor. He lives right there, across the street. But our street is dirt, so it's a road, not a street. But that's where he lives. Grumpy's my neighbor. He was out in the yard messing around with his old tractor he used to have. And when I was taking Riley for a walk, we stopped by, we talked to him. He lived up to his name of Grumpy. And then we got along great. So that's who Grumpy is. What a guy. Best neighbor ever. Oh yeah, Mrs. Grumpy's all right too. I feel like it'd be so much more sensible to just get like one of the little igloo dog houses and put over that so that they got a pump house. Right? Maybe get a tiny wrecker put over the top of it. Yeah. Get one of them igloo dog houses, insulated ones, set it over so it's just a small little thing right there, put a heat lamp in it and we're done. Instead of trying to heat up that big ass room and yeah. cram in five million tons of insulation in there to make up for all that space and then we don't have this big ass shed in the middle of our driveway i like that idea yeah we'll go with that here's an idea we go with the doghouse theory right then this i'll put over there and my wife can have as a shed to put all her stuff in that way i can have my shed back because you guys remember give me this come here with me come on let's go for a walk you guys remember a while back when me and nate went over the auction over in woodburn in the valley and I bought these bomb shelters here, two of them. Uh, this one is a chemical storage building. The other one is an explosive storage building, but either way, I bought them for storage. 
um, for like all my truck stuff. So I can park the truck right here. All the truck specific stuff could be storage in here because I can't get the trucks down to the shop to work on them down there. They can't get in the shop because it's too tight and screwed up and the shop's too small. So this is going to be my truck shop, just the dirt here. Everything's stored right here. You know what's in here, Ethan? Uh, Knickknacks, oddities, souvenirs, uh, and other preposterous items. It's almost like you've met my wife before. Because that's exactly what's in here. <laughs> Which is fine, babe, I love you. But... You're going to jail, dude. <laughs> Straight to jail. Straight to jail. Straight to jail. Believe it or not, jail. What you doing, Casey? We're moving a gooseneck, the, the cheater way. That's way easier. Way easier. Just Zach lift everything. This is like my yard tractor now. <laughs> it's a bit overkill, but that's okay. You know, all your average little home improvement projects. Zach lift. Yeah. The answer to everything. me over if you need to. They say we're gonna have to jack it up more. Yeah, yeah fine. Okay, hey, well, I think that's it for today. And uh, tomorrow, 800 feet of well pipe out of the ground. You guys wanna see that part or not? I don't cool. know. I think it'd be neat. I've never seen it done. I've never seen it. I, I think I've seen short, like 50 foot well come out of there, but that was like. If, if Dan or we'll, Jade. We'll see how exciting it is. Yeah. See you tomorrow. <laughs>